Good morning. I am letting y'all come on my little road trip over to the Weight Watchers meeting this morning. Um, I don't know, just for a change of scenery. Okay, I just parallel parked and I'm really proud of myself because I think I did a really good job. So let's get out and see how I did. Let's look at this. I think I did awesome. Anyone else like get nervous about parallel parking? We have it all over our town, and I just rocked at it. One first try. I'm so excited. I lost another point too this week, um, which is good. I like that I'm maintaining. I really need to stop focusing on the scale. I actually talked with my sister-in-law this last week, who we've been kind of like um, supporting each other through our weight loss after our last babies. And um, the last time we talked about it, I kind of changed our goal. Like, we kind of had a goal to be at a certain weight by Christmas. And now I'm kind of like, you know what? I think our goal needs to be, by Christmas, we put away our scale. We stop focusing on a number, and we focus on being healthy and not letting the scale kind of rule our lives. I stayed a little bit longer after the Weight Watchers meeting and talked to the uh, what, talked to my leader a little bit and almost had a little breakdown there because this last week was really hard. I made probably the worst mistake and compared myself. And you know, we just you can't compare yourself to somebody else. And the person I compared myself to weighs the exact same weight as me, but is four sizes smaller than me. But you know what? That's how God made me. God has had and has a perfect plan for me, and that includes the way that he created me. And I need to just rejoice in that, and I need to grasp that, and go with it, and be happy with who I am. Um, and so, so with finding that out this last week, I was really down, um, and Tim and I talked about it, and he prayed for me about it, and I was actually able to go to bed uh, a whole lot better than I was when I had found out earlier that day. And, um, but it's still kind of lingering in my head and I need to get it out and I need to just forget about it and I need to concentrate on myself. So today is the last day that, like, I think we're going to get into the 80s and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the last day that I can pull off a tank top this year before it gets really cold. So I'm wearing a tank top because I like my arms and, um, just so for me around the house I can just enjoy, enjoy something about myself and get me focused positively again. I was reading my Biggest Loser book yesterday, and it said, you know what, you need to, it said that they had the contestants, like, write everything that they enjoy about themselves. It can be physically, it can be, like, your behavior, like, what do you like about your personality, and you just need to grasp who you are, and you need to focus on the good stuff, because if you're focusing on the negative, then you're just, it's not going to work, you're going to get stressed, you're going to get disappointed, and you're not going to do anything because it's like, well, I feel this way about myself, so why why even try? And if you focus on the positives, it's going to keep you motivated and it's going to keep you making good choices because you don't want to make yourself feel bad. So, focusing on the positives, and I'm talking to myself about this because I need it, you know? it's It really stinks to have a bad week and to focus on the negative things and... And there's just no time in our life for that, and it's not fun. One more thing I wanted to share before I have to go in the house and start my motherly duties. Um, I absolutely love going to Weight Watchers meetings uh, because of the celebrations. I know in the beginning, like, I was a little timid, and I was like, oh, it would be so cool to be celebrated, and then I was really shy and didn't like everybody clapping for me. Now I love it. Um, but I wanted to show you, like, what you get. Like, you get little charms in, with your celebrations of whenever you reach little goals. Like, I had this keychain thing for, I think it says a 10 pound weight loss. So a 10 pound weight loss, I got a keychain. And then I have a Weight Watchers star for I think I lost, I think that was like my 10% or something. And then I have a little key for um, doing lifetime. And then today I just got a little 5K charm for running the 10K. They don't have a 10K charm, but they have a 5K and that's good enough. So let's just 
really, really fun to have a little thing. So last night I finally got my keychain out and my charms and got it all set up so I can carry those around for a little extra reminder and just, you know, it makes me proud. It makes me proud to have something to look at and remember uh, where I've been and how far I've come and it's just really encouraging. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to share. Every week when you go, you get this little like, uh, I don't know, like pamphlet thingy whenever you go to the meetings. They talked about today like doing something to help remind you where you've been, where you're going, to just celebrate the little things. And in the booklet, there's this little picture of this lady, let's see if it'll focus, um, with a little bag and buttons. So she has this like little carry bag that she uses that every single time she loses a pound, she sews a new button on there. And I thought that was a really cute um, idea to do because then like, because her bag's like totally covered with buttons and and it's adorable and I don't know, it's just a good visual, like having a visual of where you've been and where you're going and how hard you've worked and I mean, man, I would carry that bag around with me all the time and tell people like, yeah, you see all those buttons? That's a ton of buttons. That's how much weight I've lost. So. I don't know, find something that you like to do um, to just give you an incentive of what you want to do. I know somebody had said before that they have like a little, they make like a little chain of post-it notes or like of, um, what are they, safety pins or something, just something to remind yourself that you can put around the house um, of how hard you're working and how great that's going.